today we're finally going to do the missions here on Quattro Kalinas, and I've been saving them because I didn't want to have any, like, spoilers for the story missions or anybody that, like, wanted to play through and not already know what happens. And speaking of that, I do kind of know, like, what's waiting for us eventually in these, but I won't say it yet because I think there's a fair chance this is, like, a two-part video. Depending on how long these missions take, I might have two different videos out of it, and the second one would be Saturday since we stream tomorrow over on Twitch. But, uh, yeah, I have her dialogue off because I think that would just, you know, make things take a little longer. And I've done a couple of these first missions because a lot of times there's just kind of run around, go to this place, go to that place. Not much interesting. So hopefully after we go to this one, we can actually get on to hunting stuff. Okay, what am I doing? I'm retrieving signs. I didn't actually pay attention. I just have to put them over here on the road, I guess. All right, that's... Not the most interesting mission either. Alright. Signs have been placed. That's probably a side mission. Let's not do that. Find the missing goat. Locate the predator's trap. Okay, this actually sounds interesting now. <laughs> More interesting than placing signs around. So I'll wait for her dialogue to go through because it's not going to tell me what to do until that happens. And then we'll see what we're actually doing here. Alright, so we got to find a missing goat. Which is like a, a farm animal or pet type of goat, not a ibex. And then apparently there's a predator which has probably killed it. But the nice thing about like actually having played the map a good bit and unlocked outposts, we can get through these missions more quickly by just kind of fast traveling around. Because I think that's one of the things the missions are set up to do is actually force you to travel around and explore the map. So that part's kind of already done. Alright, that's a goat. I think that actually is maybe an Ibex model. I can't actually tell for sure. It's quite similar. And then Predator Tracks. So yeah, that has to be a wolf. Can I... I can't click on him. Hmm. Well, that's going to be a problem. Can I follow these? All right, yeah. Dis what? Disappearing road signs? What does that have to do with this? Okay, so yeah. You do just follow the tracks. Maybe you can't ID them. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe you're not supposed to know for sure that it was a wolf. But that's good to know. Anyway, we're already on to something completely different. I kind of, I don't know how I feel about that. They do that a lot with the missions in Call of the Wild where you're kind of led into something and you want to know what happens next and then you get <laughs> dragged away completely. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is another non-hunting one, so not... A whole lot to see. Maybe we can just shoot something along the way anyhow. Or there's nothing here, but we're supposed to do something here. Photograph it. All right. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to actually pay attention. But uh, I thought it said to, like, tidy it or something as well. Yeah, so I just do that, and it's all clean. Holy cow. All right. It's a good thing that I have dialogue off, because there be so much of this video that's just listening. Uh, what are we doing? We're going to different regions. Let me make sure that's still part of the story before I do that, because it is not. What we actually have to do is harvest a wolf, and without damaging the brain is optional. I don't know if you make more money from that. Where is a good spot to find wolves? I always, like, I only find them when I'm not looking for them. I know, like, up here... No, this lake. They rest somewhere in here. Hey, there we go. I don't know if that's going to be a gold, but we are going to try to get him before he decides to, like, chase something away. That should do just fine. So, we actually get to hunt stuff now, finally. Ooh, there's actually a bunch of them into seven. So, we've talked a lot about respawns recently, uh, because I was told that I don't remember who said it on EW stream, but somebody said basically animal respawns usually will try to respawn as an animal in the same weight class, which is like a theory I've had for a long time. So uh, shooting those higher, higher scoring, higher estimate animals usually should be a good thing then. But anyway, we'll save. Uh... <coughs> but anyway, we'll save respawn speculation talk for a future video, because uh, I think this will be the 7, because he was the gray color. Nice little 869 gold. I'm not going to claim this guy till I see 
what the other mission is, actually, because on the off chance that I gotta kill another one, that would be really easy. Okay, so this mission sounds interesting. Apparently a barn has been broken into, and there's tire slash and footprints. But, uh, if I had to guess, probably we're not actually gonna get to do anything with it. But we have another gold wolf out of that. And where are we going? Somewhere... Guess I gotta run that. I haven't been to those fields yet, so maybe we can shoot some rabbits or something on the way. But I am actually interested, like, for future reference. Does not having the dialogue on actually, like, take away from the immersion of it? Because the biggest thing that I think is probably sitting and waiting for missions for a bunch of a video would be quite boring. So I thought it'd be best to, like, cut that out, but... I want to know what you guys, like, as viewers of it actually think, because for future maps, if you'd rather have the dialogue, I could just make, like, a much longer series on it. But, yeah, I don't know. To me, I think just the actual hunting and, and you know, seeing some of the story is the best kind of balance of it. Jeez, I didn't even see that. It's a level one, but we're basically here. I, I like, I don't know how I switched my gun right when I killed that. But yeah, uh, if I had to guess, this mission is going to do the same thing as the last one. It'll lead us on to a bit of story and then nothing will happen. But I found the tracks. Because yeah, th these are like human tracks. That happens fairly often. Tires are slashed. Yep, examine that. Find the footprints. And I think it said photograph them. So if we do that, does that... Do anything? Oh, I have to examine them. Okay. Okay. It says photograph the footprints and the tire tracks. I think I'm doing that. I mean, these are tire tracks. Uh. Where am I supposed to be? I mean, the mission thing is here. Alright, well, if you're stuck on that one, maybe try going to the side of the road and taking it that way, because it worked. But, that's probably not a story mission. That's the thing, you gotta keep making sure you're on that. Disarm the old traps, kill and harvest the white wolf. Okay. That sounds a little more interesting than whatever the other one was. Where are we going? Where are old traps? Probably gotta wait till her dialogue ends. So, I turned the dialogue on, because I think this might be a more interesting part of the story. And if it is going to be interesting, I'd like to, you know, have the thing experienced in how it, how it was meant to be, I guess, by the developers. But we have to dismantle all these traps. So, I don't know. It said there were four of them. I don't know how much running around that is going to require. Like, I'm guessing it's going to make me either fast travel around or something. But, if I can ever get over here... We got one here somewhere. There it is. Starting to wonder if that didn't spawn, actually. Oh. Okay, that's not bad. It's just, like, gonna be along this field edge, kinda. So that's two. We got that one down there. So, yeah, they must all be right over in this area. Got that one. Yes, I still have my fingers. And then there's one a little further away up here, actually. Okay, so that'll be the last one. And then the other half of this mission said about, like, the, uh, the white wolf. Wait, did you hear that? Oh, well then. Hey, that is the guy that I was waiting for. So how are we going to go about this? Because they are fairly easy to mess up shots on when they're trying to charge you. That'll work. And you can put two... In the uh, wolves with the 30 out six, it's very dead. Just to just to make sure we get quick kill because these mission, I won't say diamonds, but mission max levels, they're never super high scoring except for I think the med bed one. So just make sure we're not going to get like a single lung and drop quick kill. But that guy is a needle little diamond. As you know, things are extremely hectic at the moment, but I'm considering taking the day off to attend. And you've been a true friend to me during a difficult time. It means a great deal. I get the impression this is the end of the story missions. 
But uh, yeah, that was why I had the dialogue off. She loves to talk. But this Phantasma fur type, I believe, is unique to this mission. I've not seen it anywhere else. And yeah, a lot of you guys were saying, like, go kill this wolf for the multi-mount. Because um, we have that albino mouflon and the, and the three wolves. So I was just kind of waiting to not spoil the story. But he's a really cool one. Cool, uh, cool fur type. I like that they, I think, made a unique fur type for a mission. Um, but it did say about the centerpiece thing. So is that... Yeah, that's still part of the story. So we might as well continue. Uh, but that is, like, the specific animal that I was here for. Hello there. Talk about making the mission easy. Uh, there was a three. Well, that's not him. Is that the three? Yes. Might as well get the bigger one. But yeah, anyway. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother, like, having two videos out of it now. Because I wondered how far into the story missions that Diamond Wolf would just shot was. And it's not very. Uh, so, you know, if you've not done it yet... Hopefully that isn't a spoiler for you, but that took me a little under 40 minutes. Like, as long as you stick to the story missions, it's real quick. Rude. Do I go get to put it in the lodge? Hold on. That said... Okay, drop it off at a place. That's a lodge I don't have, but fortunately I have a tent here. Hang harvest. Alright, I mean, that's something. That's actually quite cool. What's going on? She's originally from a village nearby and has moved home to take over her father's restaurant. Uh huh. Mayor Hernandez's assistant, Rosa, has sent me an invoice for a rather impressive bottle of Gran Reserva Rioja and some refreshments. Okay. We have gotten to know each other in recent months, and she has agreed what? to help me with the wild boar on the proviso that I give her first choice of fresh produce grown here. Apparently, a meeting is being held out here, so the mayor can show a government inspector around the reserve. Yes. It's a win-win for us, as everyone is going to know that this top-level chef is sourcing her food from us. Okay. She has included a few details in the email. She must have assumed that I knew about the meeting, since it's being held here. Yes. People are going to associate Cuatro Colinas with her amazing work. Why would I need to cancel the meeting? I'm so confused. Something that Hernandez has been pushing for two months now. And when I asked him why he wanted to show an inspector around, he said not to worry, and that he'd drop it. Plus, she's never cooked a whole bowl before. So, she's asked me to help her in the kitchen. I hope we both learn a lot from each other. So it appears that by drop it, what he meant was, go ahead and not bother inviting me. Now I see. You should expect to hear from her. She's looking for a few different things. And I only trust you to be capable of acquiring them for her. Right. I want you to head out to Campos Verdes and see what that serpiente is up to. Aha. Uh -huh. The more success she has, the better we look and the more business we receive. Remember how I said I had the dialogue off to make these shorter? I feel like I feel like cutting it off in the middle would be worse. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off again. What am I doing? Because it said cancel the meeting, I still thought... I don't know. Good thing I got this lodge on my way down. It looks empty. Yes, it does. Uh, which... Am I going in here? Or am I going up on the roof? What? I am a little bit confused. Oh. Not even locally made. Yeah. Sure. Am I supposed to do more? Okay. Can we just... Okay. Thank you for whatever that is. Alright. I got that part done. I just want to know what the cancel the meeting thing is. I'm more interested in that than whatever else is going on here. Hold on. Let me... Find a place to hide near... Campos Verdes. Is that where I'm at? It must be. A place to hide? I mean, I don't know. In this shed? 
<laughs> what is the this is actually more interesting than I expected it to be. How's this work? Let me in here. I guess not. Maybe I'm supposed to get on the roof? Or I mean, there has to be like an objective point. Can't What? Oh. <laughs> All right, that was less fun than I thought it would be. Wait. Have you sprayed the room with animal scent? I don't know if I should be impressed or dismayed. Although I wish you could see his face when he opens the door. We don't want them to see you. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was going to be a lot more interesting. I thought I was going to get to like shoot something. Okay, it wants me to actually hide up here. Is there going to be something that we see happen then, or here happen? I gotta assume there's a reason there's actually, like, a objective to go up here. Beyond just going here and then going back. Okay. I'm actually very interested to see what they do. <laughs> okay. Okay. But less less interesting than I thought, but I realized the way the game's made and stuff, there's not a whole lot they could have done. Interesting way to get around, um, you know, having a cutscene kind of deal. But, uh, yeah. I think, probably, we're going to leave this video here. We'll have to see if the warden wants to talk to us before we do that. It worked? Yes. I've made my new lodge smell like a pig in heat, but it was worth it. I should call my lawyers. I suppose I ought to call the cleaners too. Yeah. You may have just bought me the time I need to get things in place to protect the reserve. I couldn't have done this without you and your uncanny vandalizing skills. Sadly, there's no time to enjoy this small victory. We've had several reports of sick and dying animals, all within a short distance of each other, scattered around the small lake. Oh, okay, I know where this is going to be. Naturally, if this is something serious, I'm likely to have the farmers at my door demanding answers. They have never seen this before, and they're scared. Where Without is... Mind, I want you to visit the area. If my hunch is correct, I believe that the lake could be the source of this issue. Oh, I, I meant to tell you. I spoke to my father. He was a little distracted, but he was able to confirm that we've never tagged wolves here. That's the lake I'm talking about. Have a look around. I'll do that. Not and I will that, also but I called around a few other nature parks and not shut you up yet. Reported any missing wolves. So either a phantasma has traveled here from hundreds of kilometers away, or I don't know. Okay. The tracker didn't tell us anything. Excellent. In better news, I heard back from our vet. The wolf that you killed tested negative for rabies. That's a load off my mind. I don't know if things are getting worse, but this is a bad omen. Oh, I'm probably supposed to look at this. This will be the, uh, the cause of the issue. You know what? Let me... Let me turn dialogue off again so video doesn't end up going for half an hour. So that that's going to be your problem right there. Can I tell what was on the inside? I don't know. Oil? Manure. Okay. That's not the same. Footprints. Oh, yeah. I kind of thought those were my own. Did I turn tracks off? No. Take a photograph. Yep, don't even worry about it. 
Sure. One of the local goat herds had mentioned something. Hadn't had time to hear the whole story. Well, we're on to another mission anyway. Investigate. By, okay, you know what? Uh, we seem to be into less hunting missions again. And since this is clearly not the work of wolves, although they seem to have enjoyed it afterwards, I don't think we're going to get to do much with it. So probably we're going to leave this video here. Um, if you guys want to see the rest of this, uh, let me know in the comments. I can do the rest of these missions, but uh, at least for now, like I got what I wanted to do done. I do want to go change our multi-mount around and get that wolf in there, but I'm just getting the impression that we're not going to get to do a whole lot of hunting with this mission. So yeah, apologies if it feels like I'm like cutting off the story, but I do feel like we're just getting stuck in like the same sort of deal where we're doing things of a story but not actually hunting. But we have our new little diamond wolf. That's actually quite cool. We took the albino out uh, just to get more variety. But I really like it. This multi mouse is really neat. Um, I think I'm going to go back to this one. Quite like that. I don't know why it is. That pristine wolf looks massive. Like the one on this side just looks way bigger. But anyway, uh, this video is probably already extra long because we had the dialogue on for a minute and Warden of the Reserve likes to talk. So I think we'll just leave it at that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.